The story begins when a father receives a letter from his son saying that he would like to receive a box of pencils on his birthday. The father searches the internet and finds teenlonggroup.com stationary online shopping site. He enters the website and orders. Uh, on the other side of the process, Teen Long Group receives the order. Let's look at some of the competitive advantages of e-commerce. Firstly, extend traditional business hours. This leads to convenience for customers. The store opens 24-7 and the customers can order any time they want, which increases sales even outside of traditional business hours. So it's more convenient for both the customers and Teen Long. Secondly, e-commerce reduces the overhead costs of each pencil. The company has better stock control in terms of increasing inventory turnover, avoiding holding stock for too long, and reducing storage and insurance costs. In addition, e-commerce helps reduce labour and raw material costs effectively. Finally, customer relationship management leads to effective communication. Teenlong can maintain solid relationships with customers and then build up huge valuable customer databases including age, segments, shopping habits and insights. More importantly, communication, especially information on customer purchasing, would become faster and more accurate with the help of computer systems. And now the journey of the pencil begins. Teen Long Group calls and orders all the necessary materials from suppliers accordingly. Graphite, wood, clay, metal and rubber. All materials are then delivered to the Teen Long factory. Let's see how the pencil is manufactured. First of all, graphite and clay are mixed together using water. The amount of clay added to the graphite, for example, lower proportions of clay makes the core softer, and the amount of time spent on grinding the mixture determines the quality of the lead. The mixture is then shaped into long spaghetti-like strings, straightened, dried, cut, and then tempered in a kiln. After that, a cedar plank with several long parallel cut grooves is cut. Then, the graphite clay strings are inserted into the grooves. Another groove plank is glued on top. This method is called sandwich. The whole assembly is then cut into individual pencils. Each pencil then has a shoulder cut on one end of the pencil to allow for a metal ferrule to be secured onto the wood. A rubber plug is then inserted into the ferrule for a functioning eraser on the end of the pencil. We cooperate with Pentel and use their erasers for competitive advantage. Pencil users, especially children, usually find it more convenient for them to use an eraser that is attached to the pencil. However, the problem is that most companies have not paid attention to satisfying this need. In fact, the attached erasers are more about beautifying the pencils instead of being utilised effectively. Therefore, based on the current situations and huge demand from customers, we've come up with a new idea for Teen Long to gain a valuable competitive advantage. We can do this by cooperating with Pentel, one of the world leaders in eraser production, to have these prestigious erasers on Teen Long pencils. Since Pentel is a huge player who provides internationally qualified erasers, it would be relatively costly for Teen Long. However, by doing this, the company can strengthen customer convenience. Moreover, from a pencil manufacturer's point of view, outsourcing will help decrease manufacturing time, thus decrease order cycle time. One important thing is that Teen Long can be the pioneer in a new segment of high-quality pencils and erasers satisfying a large customer base. In addition, as a partner, Pentel will also help deliver the Teen Long brand name to new markets outside Vietnam. This satisfies the marketing objective that Teen Long is pursuing based on a win-win strategy. Overall, the advantages of this strategy outweigh the drawback of high costs and bring a bigger benefit for customers. After the production, pencils are tested carefully by a professional tester. Then, they are packaged and transported to the warehouse, 
and from the warehouse the pencils are delivered directly to the customers. If the customer receives their pencils and finds an issue with the lead, they can call the customer service centre. The customer service centre will efficiently deal with the issue and pass the information to the relevant staff. The relevant staff are available to take the products back and check the origin of the problem. If the problem is caused by the manufacturing process, the product will be replaced completely free of charge. However, if the problem is caused by the customer, the customer will have to cover the cost of any replacement product. When the customer orders the pencils, they pay a small deposit and will need to pay the remainder within seven days of receiving the pencils. The post sale customer service centre enhances the company's ability to deal with customers. It does this by improving dependability, communication and convenience. Dependability. Every time a client calls in, they will be received by friendly professional operators who will direct them to the correct person they need to speak with who can help solve their issues. This type of service really resonates with customers and they will have a great impression of the company. This will increase customer loyalty. To maintain and improve customer relations as well as enable the company to understand their customer needs. The logistic activities vital to order fulfillment are clear communication of customer requests throughout the sales process and effective handling of customer inquiries. The customer service centre enables this and also helps the company to keep abreast of, target, of their target market's wants and needs. The process mentioned previously is done, but what about business to business? The manufacturing process will be the same, but the order will be more than just a pencil. The orders can be original pencils for retailers like supermarkets and bookstores, including Lottie Mart or Fahaza, for example. Teen Long Group can become a major supplier of the clay lead cores to other pen pencil manufacturers around the globe. Or customised pencils for organisations with their logos and designs. This can include Yule's Yap, Orphanage and RMIT University, for example. Here is a rich picture to sum up the journey of the pencil from manufacturer to the end user. First of all, the company orders the materials. A deposit is paid to suppliers. The materials are then delivered to the factory. Once the materials arrive at the factory, the factory will manufacture three types of products. These are LEDs, complete pencils and customised pencils based on customer orders via their customer service centre and e-commerce facilities. After manufacturing, the goods will be delivered to the warehouse before arriving at the customer destinations. The balance of payment will then be paid to suppliers. There are two primary types of customers, business to business, these are retail outlets and organisations receiving the final products and also the other pen pencil manufacturers receiving the writing cores. And secondly, business to customer. These are customers who buy the pencils for themselves or their friends and families who, after seven days of receiving the pencils, will have to pay their orders to complete the purchasing process.